Hello, welcome to this week's Turf Tips. As usual, I'm Todd Hicks from the Turf Grass Pathology Team. On the disease front, dollar spot. Uh, over the past week here at the Turf Center, and most of Central Ohio anyways, dollar spots tend to be on uh, decline, to be not an issue. We are still hearing reports. Uh, Joe Rimmelspock, my partner, is still getting samples in and or calls, complaints from different pockets throughout the state that are still having an increased trouble with dollar spot. They've got behind the disease and, and now the fight's on and they're having trouble getting ahead of it. Number one, you're probably never going to truly get ahead of it at this point if you're behind dollar spot. Number two, the best thing we can recommend is make sure you're using good contact and another family of fungicides in very shortened windows to go out and try to get a handle on this disease. Dollar Spot will just keep coming after you. If not, don't think that you're going to get seven or 14 days out of a contact. I'd be shortening things up, maybe in a three-day rotation for one or two treatments until I felt that I was at least making some headway on that disease. Also check your fertility. Uh, there's not a lot we're going to be able to do right now. We're in the heat and the fight of the summer. So if you're behind on Dollar Spot, uh, good luck. Uh, use your chemicals widely. Uh, wisely and uh, look at your turf health closely. On Pythium, uh, we've talked about Pythium in the last two weeks as something to watch out for. Uh, we're seeing uh, increased reports of Pythium on tees, fairways, and, and the high cut areas. It doesn't seem to be widespread. People aren't losing fairways, but it seems to be on the fringes, small areas, unprotected areas, and it's uh, going to increase if this weather pattern that we're seeing now with these pop-up storms continues. Again, if you're on a phosphite program, it'll usually help out with low levels of Pythium, but what we're seeing is uh, I think you're going to need to use something better than that for protection. If you're not protected, go ahead, find a chemical that works for you, get it out there so that you're not behind on Pythium. Remember, Pythium's a killer. Uh, once you lose the turf, it's hard to get it back. With the pop-up storms that we talked about and that most of us are receiving now and it looks like throughout the next week, we're primed with our weakened POA for an anthracnose outbreak. Uh, Joe Reynolds Fox seeing samples coming in, hearing reports on the phone calls that people are starting to see this on the increase. We expect with the pop-up storms last night through the weekend and the next week that we're ready for the perfect storm on anthracnose. So be very careful and be on the outlook. Maybe even get a preventative out there if this has been a concern of yours in the past. Summer patch continues to increase. Uh, it, it tends not to be too bad of a problem right now, even on our untreated areas where we're running research. Um, it stands out to a pathologist. It stands out to you, the turf managers. It tends not to stand out to your clients. Uh, on the upside, it's taking out your POA and it'll turn you over to bent. On the downside, if you're mostly POA, you've got to manage it and some folks are having some trouble right now. Again, be very careful with what you're putting out. Make sure that it's worked for you in the past. Um, make sure that your fertility is where it needs to be and watch your watering. Uh, final word on chemicals. Uh, we're in the heat of the summer, as I've said several times. One thing we need to look out for is our DMI class of chemistries. Uh, we're in the heat of the summer. Most of those are in the triazole family, which means they have PGR type capabilities. Um, if you're on a PGR already, which most of you tend to be, be very careful when you put a DMI out and which DMI you use because you could get increased regulation, which is going to turn your POA brown and nasty looking, and that's the last thing we need at this point in the summer. That's it for now. If you have more questions, uh, things we need to cover, or you're having concerns, you can email me at hicks, H-I-C-K-S, dot one nine at osu.edu. Look forward to talking to you next week. Good luck.